St. Philip Neri was a Christian missionary and founder of the Congregation of the Oratory, a community of Catholic priests and lay brothers. He was born in Florence on July 21, 1515, as one of four children to Francesco Neri. His mother died while he was very young. He had a brother who died in childhood and two sisters. Philip was a very religious youth. From a very young age, Philip was known for being cheerful and obedient. He was affectionately referred to as Good Little Phil. He received his early teachings from friars at the Dominican Monastery in Florence, San Marco. At 18 years old, Philip went off to live with his uncle in San Hermano. He was sent there to assist his uncle's business. After a very short time, Philip had a conversion. He received word and a vision that he was to be sent as an apostle to Rome. This event was an encounter with the Lord and it dramatically changed his life. Philip arrived in Rome with no money. A fellow Florentine took him in and Philip was paid an allowance to tutor his two sons. He stayed with the family for the next 17 years. In 1535, Philip began studying philosophy and theology. When he felt that his studies were interfering with his prayer life, Philip sold his books and gave the money to the poor. He was a creative poet, writing in both Italian and Latin. Historians tell of the widespread sin, immorality, and the dishonest popes that plagued Rome at the time. Philip began a personal pilgrimage around Rome. He began to pray in the catacombs where the saints had been martyred and where criminals lurked. He began ministering to criminals, prostitutes, and the incurables in the filthy Roman hospitals. It was in the hospital that Philip met Ignatius of Loyola. Philip found companionship in Ignatius and his followers, who eventually formed their own religious order, the Jesuits. Philip continued his pastoral ministry in Rome. A few days before Pentecost in 1544, Philip was deep in prayer. He received a vision of a ball of fire that entered his mouth and went into his chest and physically enlarged his heart. Philip was so filled with the Spirit that he began evangelizing and ministering to teenage boys and young men. To keep these men from straying, Philip found safe places for them to pray and study. He organized pilgrimages complete with picnic lunches, music in the vernacular, and even exercise. The practice of the 40 hours devotion before the Blessed Sacrament is attributed to Philip and his disciples. Philip was convinced by his spiritual director that he could do even more as a priest. In 1551, at the age of 36, he was ordained. Philip heard confessions around the clock. He had the gift of telling his penitents of their sins before they confessed. Throughout his priestly ministry, Philip Neri continued to have more and more followers whom he led in prayer. The simple Christian life of a group of friends was a gust of fresh wind through Rome. His fraternity attracted a broad base of disciples, criminals, womanizers, artists, and even Italian nobility. Philip Neri was accused of starting a cult, a charge that was later shown to be baseless with the help of Charles Cardinal Borromeo. The witness and ministry of Philip Neri and his disciples 
led to the formal foundation of a religious order by virtue of a papal directive. The secular priests and lay brothers were dedicated to prayer, pastoral ministry, and evangelization. The order was called the Congregation of the Oratory and was officially established in 1575. He soon earned the title Apostle of Rome. In his later years, Philip suffered from several illnesses, each of which was cured through prayer. In 1590, Pope Gregory XIV tried to make him a cardinal, but Philip declined. On the Feast of Corpus Christi, May 25, 1595, Philip was told by his physician that he was not healthy. He had not looked well for 10 years. Philip realized his time had come to pass on to the Lord. For the remainder of the day, he listened to confessions and saw his visitors as normal. Around midnight of May 26, 1595, Philip suffered from a hemorrhage and passed away at 80 years old. His body lies in the new church where the oratorians still serve. St. Philip Neri was beatified by Pope Paul V on May 11, 1615 and canonized by Pope Gregory XV on March 12, 1622.